Hello, it's Scott Manley here, and we're back with another little uh, mod update. Now, one of the things, if you've ever played Kerbal Space Program a lot, is you end up with a bunch of stuff in orbit very close together, like this. In fact, sometimes they get very, very close together, as we're going to see with Goon Station 1. Oh dear! Okay, so, oh, very nice. Well, I wasn't quite as straight on as I would have liked, but you notice we now have vast amounts of debris, and perhaps I want to uh, switch between these various ships, such as Goon Station 1, which is right there. Now, we can push buttons and switch through all this giant cloud of debris, or I can go in here as we hear, um, <laughs> we hear the, um, the dog shaking in the background. I can turn off all this. And this is the the haystack plugin. If you look, I can find things. Let's try flying this one. Fly. And what does it do? It switches me. Okay, that's a ship. I wonder if there's anyone on that. Uh, oh, underneath, underneath. Click. Oh, look, there's crew stuck on that. Well, we'll have to rescue them somehow. Let's go back to the map. Now, this is this is what you get. Is you get basically a nice little menu that lets you pick your vehicles and, and analyze them. This, I guess, qualifies as a ship because it is a docking port, but there are no survivors on that, so I can happily delete it. And if I want to, I think I can nuke them with... Uh, there's maybe ways to nuke them here. Let's fly this one, see what we've got. And, oh, look, we have some survivors on this, so we can turn on the SAS, and maybe that will slow the rotation. No, it's not going to slow the rotation at all, because they don't have SAS. But we can do this manually. These guys perhaps have, despite the impact, they actually have a relatively useful ship, so maybe we should send them out to rescue the the two guys in the in the pod. Yeah, they've got room in their hitchhiker, we just need to find them. So one way to find them, of course, so we go back to the map again. You know, one of the things, you, of course, you can do is you can just look at debris and it'll only show you the bits of debris that are floating in space. Uh, you can also isolate it to fuel pods or various other things. There we go. No, no vehicles, landers. You know, just go through the list. You can turn them on and off. It's very nice. And you have a nice little find dialogue here. But uh, that really makes a lot of things. You can target them. That's what that button does, sorry. I don't, I don't know why I suggested that you might be able to nuke things with that. You can target them or you can switch to them. And it's all very fast and very simple. And here we go. We're going to switch to these guys. And that is probably someone retweeting one of my uh, videos. And, oh yeah, we switched to it. It was totally transparent because it was so darn close. So yeah, I should probably get these guys out. That'll be easier. Yes. Turn him on, and then switch here and switch back to him again. Look, I guess that's the the dude there. Fly him, and come back. It's switching. The switching seems to take a second or so. There we go. And that is still there. You see he, him, he's already flying off. EVA. So now we have two dudes, and we can look for the actual goon station which is sitting around somewhere up there, no doubt. There we go. That's where we need to be if we're gonna get rescued. And so there you go, it, the Haystack plugin, it's by Hermes Jr. It's on, um, it's on Kerbal Spaceport if you look for it. It's a re relatively early version. The, the last update was in mid-March and it's version 0.0.1.2, so, uh, very useful mod to have around if your space gets as busy, busy as mine. Um, of course, I should say fly safe, but then again, I did just shatter the goon station into a thousand pieces.